Hello everyone, welcome to Rob John's Beer Reviews. I'm back again. It's a 16 ounce tulip glass, but it frost free freezer for 20 minutes. Today we're doing a 16 ounce can, put the 16 ounce can also in a frost free freezer, also for 20 minutes. I've done this brewery before, and I've done this flavor before. This is a re-review, not a new video, alright? Not a new beer review video. Alright? Time is 5.15 p.m., 7.22, Uh Wednesday. Early evening, all right. Today we're doing Hen House Brewing out in Santa Rosa, California. Deep State IPA, six point two ABV, alcohol by volume, thirty IBUs, and a natural beer units. Canned on date. Dig this man, seven eighteen twenty. It's only four days old. Is that super fresh or what? Anything that I considered. 28 days or less it says on the can there. Uh, you lose the, uh, the the taste of the hops there after 28 days. They, they uh, do their differently than from the other breweries there, so they give it a 28 day uh, span there to to drink the beers there, drink it fresh as possible. All right. Anyway, through the malts, the malts are two row and flaked wheat. Hops are Citra and Amarillo, my two favorites. The yeast is Conan, C O N A N. Let's flip out this uh, deep state hen and see what we got here. Wish me luck. Pour it into the glass. There we go. Looks like grief for juice, but it's not. Grief for juice, but it's not. All right. It's been a while since I've done a hen house uh, beer here. I'll mention it uh, in a short bit here. Stop on the head here. We have about a two finger head here. It's on fil it's filtered. It's on it's a uh, hazy, you cannot see through there. Not the bottle not the bottle looking through it so you can't see it right. So bubbles there. Nice uh, medium white sized bubbles there. Alright. Now the uh, before I do the uh, aromas and tasting notes here, and before I taste it, uh, last time I reviewed this was on 10 18 19. So it's been quite a while since uh, not quite two years, but very close. Anyway, I thought I'd re review it today here and uh, see what it tastes like here and uh, see if I give it a better rating than I gave before. All right, anyway. Cheers and enjoy, and sip it, and cheers. Double thumbs up. No double thumbs up. Excellent, outstanding, nice, deep state, IPA. All right now, let's do the uh, Romans here. Smell some stone fruit. Also some tropical aromas. Also some citrus aromas. Smell some uh, grapefruit juice in there. Some little peaches there and a little guava. A little pineapple in there. A little mixed berries. Now, let's do the tasting notes here. Cheers and enjoy and sip it and sip it and cheers. Try it. You'll like it. Taste some stone fruit in there. Lots of peaches. Taste some citrus uh, notes in there. Taste some uh, grapefruit juice in there. Taste some tropical notes also in there. Lots of mango and lots of guava. Mouthfeel, medium body, dry finish on the end there. Anyway, perfect blend there. All right, now anything else going on here? Yes, the time is 5.20 p.m., 7.22, 2020.
Wednesday, early evening, all right? Anything else going on in here? Yes. It's a, did to, do a toast to Colin McDonald. He's a master brewer of Hen House Brewing out there in Santa Rosa, California. Cheers, Colin, and enjoy. And Colin, sip it. And cheers. Colin McDonald, I'll give you a double thumbs up. Anything else going on here? Yeah, so let's uh, do another uh, toast here. Toast to my new Facebook friend, Ross Terminello. Works in San Francisco United Airlines there. Baggage department, uh, works in the baggage there. Cheers, Ross, and enjoy. And Ross, sip it, enjoy, and cheers. Ross, I'll give you a double thumbs up. Now, anything else going on here? Yes, let's, uh, let's pour more beer in this glass here, shall we? Here we go. Nice and hazy IPA here. Get lost drops out here, be patient. All right. Again, perfect pour. About finger head here. And it's still unfiltered, filled, unfiltered, hazy. Not gonna be able to bother looking through it, so it's not worth looking at there. Anyway. Now let's do the rain here now, shall we? What I say it goes. Cheers and enjoy, and sip it, and cheers. My opinion, try them again, make sure. Look at this baby. Let's see first there. Since it's got the uh, ABV, I'll call by volume. And the IBUs are not show berry units. And a canned on date, 7 18 20. Can't believe it's only four days old. Anyway, super fresh. Anyway, I guess baby. NA. My final decision, NA. And that's it. All right. Anything else going on here? Yes. Uh, I now have 166 subscriptions. Please subscribe. Click on your email and you'll see me. All right. It's free subscription on uh, YouTube there. All right. And now I have. 41k and I'm very close to having 42k. I should hit that pretty soon there, I hope. Anyway, wish me luck on that there. Anyway, be finishing this nice uh hazy IPA and very juicy IPA out in Portia, out in Pleasant Hill, so I'm doing all my videos. Alright. Anyway, make the last toast here. Cheers and enjoy. And sip it to all the people out there on Facebook there, all on Twitter, also in, uh, Instagram, and also LinkedIn, all right? Check me out there on the other websites there, and uh, comment down below there, and uh, tell me what you think of the uh, beer hair review I did today, all right? Anyway, last toast. I'll be finishing this nice, uh, just the IP out in Portia and Pleasant Hill, all right? Cheers and enjoy. And sip it. And cheers. Another double thumbs up. All right. Anyway, about time to head out here. I really don't want to, but I have no choice. You mentioned words are in all my videos, specials, screw ups, top 10 videos, beer mail samples, tongue tie talking, tons and tons of mis mistakes when I'm doing my videos, and talking too fast like I did today, and also talking too much like I did today. Time for a frosted cold one. Double hands. Out. Then we can sip it and sometimes chug it. Bye bye. And watch me and see what come up there and see if I come up with number four, beer video number 440. It's still in the store there, so your guess is as good as mine is when it's going to be happening there. And we stay tuned and uh, see when I do it. All right? Tell your friends about me there and uh, spread the word. All right? Now, and call wrap here and uh, make sure you guys, guys, girls and ladies stay uh, six feet apart from each other. Also, don't forget to wear your masks while you're shopping for beers, all right? Anyway, have a nice one in there, and uh, 
Have a nice cold one on me, Rob Johns. All right? And now, that's it.